What's the crack guys? In this video I'm going to quickly talk you through an overview of energy balance and allergies and intolerances. This is the first thing we need to consider when we're putting together our nutrition program. So first of all, just a quick note on allergies and intolerances. They're not the same thing. So there's a complete difference between the two. An allergy is something that is quite, quite severe and intolerance is usually something that you can tolerate in small amounts. Giving you an example, so a lot of people might think that they're intolerant or have an allergy towards gluten. Now, a gluten intolerance is quite rare. It's actually more uh, common to have a wheat intolerance, where celiac disease is a very, very serious allergen to gluten. So if you have celiac disease, most likely you're going to know about it because it is like really, really bad, I'd imagine. And if you don't have celiac disease, but you find that you have some kind of bad reaction to wheat or wheat products, it's most likely, most likely excuse me, that wheat intolerance. This can kind of be a little bit of a tricky area in that there's loads and loads of tests that you can do, but none of them are very, very accurate. The accurate tests are really, really expensive, and I would say the vast majority of us watching this video don't have access to those tests. Uh, Self-diagnosis is not the same as actual diagnosis, so you know it is a kind of a grey area, so spend some time learning about your body, which is really, really important. Learn about your body, that's what we all should be doing. And that should give you an idea as to if you're intolerant to something or if you have an allergy to something. Most people won't need to consider that stuff at all because you'll be absolutely fine eating everything under the sun, so absolutely brilliant. After this, we need to think about energy balance. So the amount of energy we take in, so how much we eat and drink versus the amount of energy we burn, so how much you move around during the day and how much you exercise. The relation between those two is very, very important for fat loss, muscle gain, and improving for sport. Within the fat loss, section then we're talking about setting realistic goals so where do we actually want to be weight wise in a month's time to reflect an accurate change in our body in terms of you know creating that calorie deficit losing fat rather than losing muscle after that we need to do a bit of math so you need to figure all this stuff out obviously enough do your calculations and then you need to make some tweaks to your formula do you need to add more energy do you need to increase the amount of food you're eating do you need to reduce the amount of food you're eating do you need to increase or decrease the amount of exercise you're doing same principles with muscle gain we need to set ourselves targets so we need to see what's realistic based on our training history and also based on your current body weight and then set those targets do the math for all that stuff how much energy you need to take in how much energy you need to burn and what kind of training you should be doing and then making tweaks from there am i hitting my targets why am i hitting my targets do i need to eat more Ooh, do i need to <laughs> do i need to eat more food or you know am i moving too much during my day and obviously making our tweaks there I hope this video has been helpful. It's been a really, really quick overview of energy balance and allergies and intolerances. If you want to learn more, go to everydaytoatly.com. All the information is there. And thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next video. Salam.